Is China's military power on track to surpass America's in Asia? Beijing's rapid military expansion is putting its neighbors on edge. For the first time ever, countries from the Indo-Pacific are joining a NATO meeting. But with the war raging in Ukraine, does Washington have enough energy to deal with China and Russia at the same time? NTD's Julia Song spoke with Greg Copley, president of the International Strategic Studies Association, for more. The largest military buildup in history. That's what the head of the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command is saying about China's military expansion. The Chinese Communist Party has been busy expanding its military presence, even though it already has the biggest navy in the world and the biggest air force in Asia. On top of boosting its nuclear arsenal, the regime continues to grow its control of the South China Sea by militarizing the islands. In the east, it has sent record numbers of fighter jets near Taiwan. And on a high-level meeting with defense chiefs from many countries, Beijing declared its resolve to take the island under control by force. If anyone dares to secede Taiwan from China, we will not hesitate to fight. We will fight at all costs, and we will fight to the very end. This is the only choice for China. In the south, Beijing is helping Cambodia to upgrade a military base, which could give Beijing a foothold in the Gulf of Thailand. Further south, China signed a deal with the Solomon Islands, and the agreement has put big powers in the west on edge. That's because they fear it could allow Beijing to have a military base near Australia. Chinese leader Xi Jinping wants his military to be as powerful as the U.S. is by 2027. And now, some worry that if Washington doesn't take action in time, China could take its seat as the dominant power in the Indo-Pacific region. Here's Greg Copley's take on the issue. He's the president of the International Strategic Studies Association. It's true that the U.S. has not invested as much as it should have in the Indo-Pacific or in new defense technologies generally over the past few decades. We saw a a slight resurgence in defense spending under the Trump administration. Now we see it flattening out and we see the really dangerous and negative impacts of inflation on the purchasing power. The White House has requested over $800 billion for the 2023 defense budget, the largest ever. But with inflation, it's only a 1.5 percent increase from 2022. The Pentagon has said it needs a bare minimum of a 3 to 5 percent increase to maintain U.S. military's capability. And many in Congress have asked for a 5 to 7 percent increase, considering Russia's invasion and China's military modernization. Even though Washington's defense budget is falling behind, Copley notes there's a catch with China's military power. 